the latest update of the Canon EOS R firmware version 1.4.0 was released recently on the 26th of September 2019. So that being said, I just updated my EOS R. After having updated, I've given it a good test and very impressed so far. I thought I'd spend a few minutes talking about the enhancements and if you need to know how to do it, I'm also gonna explain the update process in the next section of the video. Perhaps the most important of the improvements in this latest version of the firmware is the improved eye detection autofocus for both still photography and video. This certainly is a much needed update as I did find that in the past, it was difficult to engage eye autofocus if my subject was further back than two meters or so. I really felt the impact of this when shooting these type of face to camera scenes on the channel. I really like to use the eye autofocus in video mode as it tends to provide the best focus, especially when shooting with shallow depth of field, anywhere down to 1.8 or even 2.4. Sometimes if I was to set the camera back a few meters, to get some of the room in the scene, it simply failed to recognize my face and track my eyes. It was actually quite bad. It would seemingly lose focus altogether and have no idea what to do. I did get around this by using the Canon Camera Connect app on my iPhone, which allowed me to tap on my face. It would then finally find focus and uh, everything would be fine, but it was just annoying to introduce that extra step. Now I can quite confidently place my camera on the tripod and I know it's gonna find focus automatically and track my eyes. Also, it tested it with significant movement, left, right, moving forwards, backwards, and I found that it just handled it really well, much faster and more seamlessly before without any hunting or delay. This was once one of the criticisms of the ELSI in the early stages around the time of launch when everybody was comparing it against the Sony A7, which has had eye autofocus for some years now and have perfected it. I would have to say that this, with this new firmware update, the ELSI is now fully up to par in that regard which is great for Canon owners. In addition, the autofocus performance has been improved to focus on and track smaller subjects. There is also reduced lag time between the actual autofocus and the autofocus frame display for images in the viewfinder or on the LCD. Again, something I did notice pre-update and just had to put up with. Every now and then, I'll be taking a sequence of still images and notice that the preview would take a while to show up and sometimes get stuck on screen. So I had to wait one or two seconds before being able to shoot again. Very annoying when you're chasing action shots, etc. Glad that this has been fixed and I'm happy to report that it has been totally taken care of in this update. There was also a minor bug, which I never noticed, that fixes a phenomenon in which the autofocus frame size cannot be changed in servo AF setting. And finally, a fix to the PTP communication vulnerability, which you may have heard media reports about recently. Essentially, it was found that hackers could gain access to your camera when you were using the wireless image transfer feature on the camera. So quite assuring to know that this too has been fixed. Overall, not a huge change to the software that runs the camera in any way. No additional features or capabilities, just some well sought after improvements that makes the EOS R perform even better than it did out of the box. So if you wanna know how to update the firmware, it's actually really simple. Head over to the Canon website and download the latest driver. I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. Then once you've downloaded it, uncompress the file. So if you're on a Windows machine, it'll be a zip file. If you're on a Mac, it'll be a DNG. And then drag that update file out of that folder directly onto your SD card and make sure it's in the root directory, not in a subfolder. You can do this on a formatted card or you can do it in a card that already has images and video, it doesn't really matter. As long as you place it on the root directory, it'll be fine. Now tap on the menu button on the back of the camera and go to the fourth yellow section, then go to section six within the yellow section. And at the bottom, you'll see a firmware option, tap okay and proceed with the update. By the way, if you can't see this option, make sure you're in photo mode, not video mode, by holding the mode and info buttons together. The update does take some time and can go as long as two to three minutes. So don't turn it off at any stage and make sure you have a full battery as you could risk bricking your camera if the update process 
is interrupted. Don't worry, as long as you have a good battery and follow these steps, it should be fine. I've been performing many firmware updates over the years of owning Canon cameras, and they've all gone well without any issues. Enjoy the new update, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments box below. If you wanna be notified of up and coming video releases, hit the subscribe button. See you on the next one. Bye for now.